Frontier Marshall 1934 film. Frontier Marshall is a 1934 American pre-code western film directed by Louis Saylor and starring George O'Brien. Produced by Fox Film and Saul M. Wurzel, the film is the first based on Stuart N. Lake's enormously popular but largely fictitious biography of Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp, Frontier Marshall. A second version of the film, also produced by Wurzel, was made in 1939, and a third interpretation by John Ford entitled My Darling Clementine was released in 1946. He supposedly wrote the book with Earp's input, I and it portrays Earp as a fearless lawman. But before the first movie was released, his widow Josephine Earp sued 20th Century Fox for $50,000 in an attempt to keep them from making the film. She said it was an unauthorized portrayal of Wyatt Earp. She succeeded in getting Earp's name completely excised from the movie. His character was renamed Michael Wyatt, and the movie was released as Frontier Marshal. Plot Wandering lawman Michael Wyatt rides into a lawless town and runs into conflict with the local boss, Doc Warren. Cast George O'Brien as Michael Wyatt Irene Bentley as Mary Reed George E. Stone as David A. Bruskin Alan Edwards as Doc Warren Ruth Gillette as Queenie Laverne Burton Churchill as Ben Hiram Melton Frank Conroy as George Oscar Reed Ward Bond as Ben Murchison, Edward Lassaint as Judge Walters, Russell Simpson as Editor Pickett. Production Actor Ward Bond appears in three films based on the Wyatt Earp story and Lake's spurious book, this film, the 1939 version and John Ford's My Darling Clementine 1946, playing different roles in all three.